We got our first subscription! Yes! Woo! Yes! Woo! So hey guys, I'm AK the Gamer Girl here today, and I have my two friends, Andrew and Josh. So they're gonna introduce themselves. So who would like to go first? Oh, okay, I guess I'm going first. What's going on everyone? My name is Andrew Howell. Right? Pretty new to YouTube, but we're gonna get it cracking, right? Love video games. Now that's why I'm so happy to be on our channel today, man. It's gonna be a really awesome conversation. Yeah. And I'm Joshua Otero from the Art of Joshua Otero and talking with Josh. Um, and I love video games because the art aspect of it. So um, I'm just here to discuss what today's topic is. Okay. So today's topic is is video games addicting? They just consider like making it an official addiction. So that is the topic we're going to talk about. I don't feel that it should be a legit addiction. My personal opinion is that it can be addiction at times, but you just have to put it away. Like, you could just get rid of video games altogether and be done with it. Like, why make it an official addiction is my thing. Like, what is your viewpoint on that? Well, I mean, I feel like... Video games, right, is a hell of a lot less addicting than fast food or like candy or like smoking cigarettes or something, right? Because it's like, I feel like video games are more kind of like a stress reliever, right? Because for me, frankly, I like puzzles and stuff like that. I love playing Portal, right? I'm a huge fan of Assassin's Creed. I got a tattoo of it, <laughs> right? So the thing is, I go and I do that and it really like racks your brain and it makes you really think about something. But at one point, I was never sitting there with an like, Xbox controller in my hand it's like, I need to get another level in, man. I, I got to do it. I got to do it. It's like, I've always been able to walk away from it, man. I, I feel like it's kind of bullshit. Like, really? Yeah. So yeah. what's your viewpoint on that? Um, Honestly, I, I'm at times on the fence because I've, I've, um, I admit I used to play World of Warcraft That's and addicting. as well as uh, uh, lately I've been playing a lot of uh, Overwatch um, and they can have dicting qualities but the whole thing is it comes down to the person to have the willpower to rip themselves away from the from uh, games and actually go about their daily lives or do something completely different. I mean, in the end, it's it's literally about uh, m making your priorities straight. I mean, you got to go to sleep. Turn off the game because you need the sleep. Otherwise, you're not going to function. Well, also, I don't think that part of the aspect is the addictive part. Like, I feel like the collecting part is the addiction part. Like, I need to get every single collector's edition. I need to get every single game version of this. That's the addicting part. I don't think they they classify the right one. Like, because yeah. it goes from collecting video games to hoarding after a while. Because then they have to build a new expansion on their house. They have to build a new expansion. They have to buy storage units. And at one point, are you going to stop collecting and realize you have no more money? You have no more money. It, when it involves money is when it's an addicting. Like, I can play any video game for free and just, just stop playing, take it away. I didn't waste any money. I didn't lose. It didn't impact my life other than I lost a little bit of sleep. So for me, I don't, I don't think they should classify that part, like me just playing level after level after level because I'm really engulfed in it. Mm. Well, what about movies? Are we going to have a movie addiction next? Like, too many movies and you're addicted? That's, like, there's a fine line of, like, when is it an addiction and when is it not an addiction? Like, I don't think that part is right. Well, from what from what I see with the, the addiction part, because they also uh, had a, study, a case study where, um, like, you know, the loot boxes and crates or different things like that where you just pay money and you don't know what you're going to get. They actually, uh, uh, especially in, I think it was China and Australia, uh, uh, deemed it as uh, um, betting and uh, um, gambling. Yeah, because I remember that. Yeah, yeah so it's, it, and so that portion can be addicting because it's like, yeah. I didn't get what I want, so I'm going to have to try again. I have to try again. You start sinking your money into it. And I can see that part being addicting, but as far as actually playing the games, Depending on the game, which like I, I can admit, World of Warcraft was addicting, but it was like you said, it's the collection and the leveling up. Say, so, okay, just one more level. Okay, I just need to collect this much more stuff, and then I'm on to the next one. And it's like, next thing you know, you're, I, I remember not eating and completely losing track of the days to where it's just like I started playing at night. Next thing I know, it's the following night. 
and I don't even remember where the time went. And I don't eat, I didn't eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And by, I was like, why does my stomach hurt? Oh, I haven't eaten. Okay, let me just get up, stop in the middle of, uh, I don't know, was it storm wind for a second, just so I can go get something to eat. And I check the time, it's, it's already tomorrow. I'm like, where did my day go? <laughs> Yeah, because like I think speed running is addictive because you're trying to beat the next level in a faster pace. Mm-hmm. Because I remember this one gentleman was trying to play it for more than 24 hours and he passed away from it because he didn't listen to his body. He didn't tell himself to stop doing that. Mm-hmm. And nobody on the stream said, hey, you know, maybe you're looking a little tired. You're looking a little worn out. Why don't you take a break? And he was like, no, I want to keep going. And I feel like if you set a time limit on yourself, that could be too much like you know just like do this like say I'm gonna stop for an hour and see if you are really addicted to that like there's too many people that they use that excuse so that they can just keep playing video games like kids be like oh yeah man I'm just one more level it's okay it's fine but you can literally get engulfed in it because you want to like if I I want to play for 16 hours straight. That's my prerogative. It's not an addiction. It's just me wanting to do it. So I don't... When does it become... Like, who, who did this study and said that it is an addiction? That's what I want to know. Like, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen that, that, that study where they said it was an addiction. I mean, because even... Okay, I understand where... Because when it came to uh, Nintendo, I started noticing that they, uh, they started putting like little subtitles on it. like... It's good. It's a good idea to take uh, uh, take a good fifteen minute break or an hour oh, break. Yeah, I, I started that po- putting that up now. So, and I just finished playing over at GameStop. Uh, I just tried out the the new Wii. Uh, oh, the Switch. Yeah. The Switch. Switch. That's it. Sorry, yeah, not the yeah, Wii. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm brains everywhere today. It's okay. You got <laughs> back from an awesome convention, so yes. you're you're good. You're golden. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's 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 all by choice, and people make up excuses and just. Yeah, I, f- I feel just, it's a little bit of like, they didn't, t- I don't know how many people they tested mm-hmm. because it can be addicting for like adolescent kids. Like they don't know when to stop because they don't like, they haven't developed their brain enough to be like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll stop for a minute because they don't have any real world like repercussions from that. Like no me, discipline. you, me, and everybody here works. Like. If, if we are not sleeping, we come to work horribly tired and our production value goes down the tubes. Mm-hmm. But then, it's just school. But they're like, ah, school. Nobody cares about school anymore. Like, ah, oh, just, eh, I, got, I got a bad grade today. Oh, well, well, you need to work on your studies. Oh, it's okay, I don't care. We need to get kids to care more about school again. Yeah. yeah. And I'd rather work on that. Don't do a case study on that. Get a case study on how to like benefit from what you're doing. Yeah. Because there's an app that I used to play. Me, me and Reggie would play. It was um, basically you would play gambling games for real world stuff. Okay. So the the initiative was you gambled on the thing, and then you can redeem coupons for free meals in Vegas. So like that to me would be more beneficial to have like a video game give real world things mm. like oh you did this this is what's going to benefit it okay. so i rather they try to stop doing case studies and, and figuring out if it's addicting and actually make if they feel like they're taking too much from the loot boxes they have to give something back i rather they do that you know like make something better than just oh there's a case study it's addicting let's mm. ban it you don't need to ban everything. You don't need to censor everything. Just make it to where they have to do something beneficial to the world. Unfortunately, when it comes to uh, uh, case studies, though, um, certain lobbyists and things like that have a tendency to pay so they can get their their message across so then they could benefit from it somehow. So it's like certain case studies are already rigged from the get-go just so they'll just say okay well we need to bring down this industry because i'm losing money from it so uh we're gonna do a case study that video games are bad which they've been trying to do since what uh mortal kombat no no it was it was when mortal kombat night trap and one other game came out and they wanted to like ban it from the rest of the world Uh, yeah because they think that it's bad but yet at the same time we have surgeons who need to play video games and that's how they train their hand-eye coordination and that's how we get excellent surgeons so it's just like how is this not beneficial 
I mean, it keeps your mind active. I know there are plenty of games for puzzles, so it keeps your uh, your neuroplasticity really good, in order so you can be good with memory, problem solving, things like that. So, how is that a negative? I don't know. Like that's my whole thing. It's like so, why why make it a negative? I mean, if if you if you make that a negative, you're basically saying that learning is a negative. You're you're training yourself for the betterment, albeit if you get obsessed with it because that that's that's a conscious thing of just letting it get out of hand like anything yeah. eating too much food exercising too much too much water you can you can literally poison yourself with water with too much water so anything of excess will always be a bad thing but within moderation it's a great thing mm -hmm. so that's just my two cents on that matter. <laughs> Do you have anything else, Andrew, to add? Or are you good? Well, no, but that's the whole thing. When it comes to like addiction, right, it's basically that you cannot function without doing, you know, set thing, right? So if it really comes down to it, like if you can't put down a controller to like clean your house or walk your dogs or anything like that, then yeah, you do have a fucking problem, right? But like, like he said, like it really helps with so many beneficial things. like. It helps your cognitive reflexes and everything like that. And they, even when they do um, pilots and everything like that, pilots that are just starting or don't go on a plane, he's like, I never did this before, but I'm going to do it, right? No, they play simulator video games and they do it, right? Like, it comes to the point where you really got to ask yourself, he's like, is this really stopping me from doing what I have to do in life? Or is this all my life is about? And like, uh, do okay. your research, people. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to end it on that. I want you to add your two cents to this podcast. Tell us what you're thinking, what you're feeling about the new study that they just came out with. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Andrew. No problem. Thank you. If you're new, subscribe to Josh, to Andrew, and me. And always keep on gaming, everybody. Bye. Peace. Bye.